So, what we was doing right now was building y'all up. on understanding how important y'all are because if I just dive straight into the commandments y'all not gonna understand like okay we was punished for breaking the commandments or we was punished for you know what I'm saying so I gotta build y'all up to understand who y'all are and how important y'all are right. come on first Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 know ye not that ye are the temple of God so it says know ye not that ye are the temple of God God made y'all in his image Y'all are a reference. Y'all are a, what is it? What is it called? Reciprocation. Is that right? Of Christ. You know what I'm saying? Meaning you look just like him. We're going to get into the scripture. I'm, I'm going to prove that Christ looks just like you. And you. Read it from the top again. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Y'all understand that? Y'all are the temple of God. You see what? Y'all go. Y'all are precious in, the, in the, uh, the sight of the Most High. Come on. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? He said the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So let me ask you something. Now that's 1 Corinthians 6. 1 Corinthians 3, I mean. So watch this. So it said the Spirit dwelleth in you, and you are the temple of God. Come on. Verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So it said if any man defile the temple of God, God will destroy you. A lot of people don't really want to take that because... In Noah times, didn't, didn't the Most High come and flood the whole earth and kill down to the whole world and only leave eight people? That's the same thing he's going to do today to the people that's stuck in sin. Right. All right, so, for example, name me, name me some things that can defile your temple. Defile your temple. Right. Sex. Immorality. You said sex. Immorality. Okay, that's one. Immorality. Drugs. Drugs. Sex. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. No, Cigarettes. Circumcision. 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 Okay, that's one. Immorality. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Certain indulgences. Okay. Why you turning around? Because this is this the thing. Our people be knowing. Our people know that these type of things defile the temple. Now we talk to, we talking about cigarettes, right? So you know that. You know that. You know that. Why do we continue to do it? To so please. We constantly fighting against the Okay. Go to, go to Proverbs 1 and verse 7. I'm going to show you something. Because you... You got the worldly standpoint of, okay, I know this is wrong with you. But a lot of things is not going to be established in your heart until you got the fear of the Lord. You see what I'm saying? When you start breaking the commandments and then you fear after that, that's what's going to start changing your heart. Read what you got. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. So when you fear the Lord, that's when you become wise. You see what I'm saying? Before you take before you take actions into sin, you're gonna sit back and consider. I shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Let me not go into the gas station uh, if I ain't if I ain't gotta get no gas. You see what I'm saying? Because what you're gonna end up doing is going to buy a pack of cigarettes. Or don't me let me I ain't gonna call it the weed, man. You see what I'm saying? All of these type of things is gonna defile the temple. Come on. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So if you learn all of this that what you learn it today, and then you go off and say to hell with it, I'm gonna keep on smoking my cigarettes. It said what? But fools despise wisdom and instruction. That you'll be considered a fool. You see what I'm saying? Because y'all been probably y'all you probably gonna say, I've been smoking cigarettes for about eight, fifteen, ten years. You see what I'm saying? But, hey, get Ecclesiastes 1918. So hold on, hold on real quick, sir. So we've been, everybody that came up then reiterated, y'all know y'all the Israelites, right? God chosen people. The only people in the world that God gave his commandments to, which means he hold us to a high standard, right? What God are we talking about? The most high God that created the heaven and the earth, destroyed the earth before, right? Y'all remember that, right? When he destroyed the earth with a flood? That means he is a terrible God. In Christianity, they don't really hone in on that point that God kills people. Do y'all know that? You you looking like uh, no, no, no. do hey do God kill people? Yeah. You say yeah. So Why do we kill people? There were so many conquests for this for this not only disrespecting but disregarding the commandments that we live every day. That we break is more transgression against ourselves than it is against anybody else. 
when you transgressing against the most high God that created the heaven and the earth, that's what you got to understand. For before you read that, go back to first and hold that, but go to first Corinthians three, read 17 again. I want something to register and click in y'all brain because I don't think it is yet. Watch this, read that. First Corinthians chapter three, verse 17. Yeah. If any man defile the temple of God. Listen, if you defile the temple of God, what is the temple of God? Body. Your body, your body, his body, your body, right? If you defile that, remember, who made your body? God. The most high God, right? Hold that. <laughs> Give Psalms 139 and verse 14. How did he make your body? Did he just snap your finger on, whatever, uh, pull some dirt off? Ah, there you go. Is that how he made you? He put a soul first. He put a soul first? Okay. I want y'all to understand this. I want y'all to put it in a proper perspective. All right, sis, listen good. Listen, read. Psalms chapter 139, verse 14. Yeah. I will praise thee. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So David said, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. What does that mean? When God made you, when God made you, he took his prayer. You ever was putting something together that was real delicate, maybe like a school project or, you know what I'm saying? Or have you ever cracked your phone screen? And you took it to get it fixed, right? Just think of how they got to make sure they don't mess up the wrong button and, you know what i'm saying it's fearing it they don't want to mess it up they taking their time they making sure they do it right that's what god did when he made you that's what god did when he made you when he made your beautiful skin when he constructed your lung structure in your body he fearfully and wonderfully did that he took his time he put thought in it because he cared because he loved you right we talking about the same God that made everything and got power over everything. Y'all understand this, right? Go back to 1 Corinthians 3. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God. So if you defile the temple of God, think about it, right? For you to call some your temple, right? Like your house. You got a house? Like that's your temple. Like this. I pay bills, this mine, right? You hold that to a high regard. That's what God said about y'all body. The same body she's sucking smoke into right now, God said, that's my temple. That's my temple, right? If you, cause you didn't make your body, right? You didn't make your body, right sis? Did you make your body? No. So you defiling something, you defiling God property. If you went to McDonald's right now and you spray painted it, you bust the window, you vandalized it, right? What would you get? A charge. You would get a fine. You might get locked up. Why? Because that's their temple. That's their property. You gonna get consequences for defiling their temple. You understand that? God said that's what your body is to him. Your body don't belong to you. You borrowing that. You understand? You just borrowing that. That's not your body. God said that's his temple. So if you take it upon yourself to defile God property, what do you do? Him shall God destroy. I don't think y'all really understand what that means. God said I will destroy you for that. Get Matthew 10 verse 28. How would God destroy you for that? How would God destroy you for that? Think about it. Our people every single day hospitalized, breathing machines. I see you, the little machine where you sound like computer love. You see what I'm saying? Why? Because they take it up on they self. They killing they self. And that body ain't even theirs. That's something that God fearfully and wonderfully made, and you decided to destroy it. That's what God will do to you. Read that. Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. Oh, yeah. And fear not them which kill the body. So God said, don't fear man that's able to kill your body like a dude can pull up on you and smoke you, right? God said, don't fear that. Read on. 
but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him. Fear who? Fear him. So God said, fear him. The man that fearfully and wonderfully made you, fear him, read on. Which is able to destroy both soul and body. So God is able to not only kill your body, take you off the earth, but he able to destroy your soul. You understand? And where at? In hell. In what? In hell. Do y'all want to burn forever? Have y'all ever felt heat like touch the stove, the hot iron on the stove? Right? Y'all got lighters. I just do that real quick. Y'all want to feel that forever? Do you want to feel that forever, bro? Sis, do you want to feel that forever? Yes, you do. When you light up that cigarette, that's what you say. I want to feel this forever. Because you defiling God's temple. Right. God said, I'm going to destroy whoever do that. In hell. Your soul. You understand that? So when he pulled the Proverbs 1 about fearing God, that's what that means. That's the only way a Negro going to change. Get Sirach 1918. Uh, yeah, Sirach 1918. Read that. The book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 18. Yeah. The fear of the Lord is the first step. The fear of the Lord is what? It's the first step. Because you said the spirit versus the flesh and all that. Understand. You ain't, and that's why we out here for our people, right? We've been taught, we've been raised up in Christianity. You understand? We never knew our true identity, our true nationality. We, are, we have been completely detached from our God, our heritage, right? We've been literally, before today, you was a zombie. Before we learned this, we were zombies. We was walking around without a purpose, just going through the motions. However the white man set up society, we were just playing our role. You understand that? So today is when you begin to take this. Where you going, sis? We the major fear. You can't stay on, uh, maybe it's the word of God. I don't know. A lot of people can't stand to get corrected, right? And that's what he was also going into as well. We can pull a thousand more scriptures about you being chosen, special, how God love you, put you above our people and all that, right? But we're talking about the same person that put toxins into their body to literally shorten their life, lifespan manually. The white man already got chemtrails and uh, ge genetically modified organisms all in your food, your water. You understand? The white man already sent it up to depopulate you. And you just, uh, what's the word, uh, expediting the process. You understand? So let's just cut to the chase. Our people got to start fearing God. That's your first step. If you really trying to overcome the flesh, instead of use it as an excuse, yeah, we are fighting the flesh. If you trying to overcome the flesh, the first step is what? The first step to be accepted of him. The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. So guess what? If you don't fear God enough to say, I'm going to stop defiling your temple, your property. I'm going to stop spending my hard earned I ain't cigarette like $10 a pack. Bring it out. Bring it out. That after that's an hour you being at work if you got a good job. You see what I'm saying? A whole hour you slaving, you spent that on a box to kill yourself. Every single day. God said, I'm not going to accept no nigga like that. The first, th the first thing you got to do for me to accept you is fear me. Respect me. You my pro I fearfully and wonderfully made you. You better treat your body like that. That's the first step. From there, get Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. I'm going to show you why it's the first step. Because if the fear of God is not in you, this is your mindset. Watch this. Read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 11 because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily and this is the thing that's why we put the Matthew 10 28 God is able to destroy your soul and your body in hell but a lot of our people like a lot of our older men especially like the brother was up here 
And I ain't saying this to down nobody because I got relatives and all that that's caught up in the same thing with drugs, right? We see 50, 60 year old crackheads still running around on crack every single day. You understand? And they just keep living. They, they still here. And we developed this mindset like, I mean, they still lie, they still got a chance to woo woo woo, right? Because God's sparing us. You understand? But because he merciful towards us, he wants us to get ourselves right, he will hold back judgment. But some people here now, like when you see people get ran over, a car wrecks and die, or a plane crash, or you know what I'm saying, tragic stuff, we be like, dang, that's sad. No, nah, that's that was God. You understand? But not everybody get that. A lot of a lot of people get a lot of passes. So God said, because I be giving passes, read on. Therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. You understand what they just said? God said, because you've been living 20 something, 30 something years of your life, smoking, fornicating, doing whatever the hell you wanted to do. And I haven't judged you yet. Your mind is fully set to do evil. The first thing you think about when you wake up, be honest. What's the first thing that come to your mind? Exactly. No. Bro, my big brother, listen, I grew up. He really my first cousin, but we grew up like brothers, right? He started smoking when he was like 13. He four or five years older than me. You know what I'm saying? So I saw the whole process happen. When he was 13, he was your height, 220, solid. He was a damn alpha man at 13 years old. Then he started smoking. You understand? And I seen it happen. He turned 16, got his driver license, started driving. Then he became 18. Then he became 21. Now he grown. But he at the house. Broke. You know what I'm saying? So, mind you, we in the hood. He got homeboys, you know, that sell weed, all that, right? He 21 years old. He waking up broke because he can't pass a drug test. He needs some weed. He ain't got no money. His homeboy sell weed. His homeboy a little smaller than him. He strong on him. His homeboy, you see what I'm saying? I didn't see this happen. You know, like this is my big brother. You understand that? That thing got a stronghold on our people's mind. Literally, I needed that bad. My brother, my homeboy, I grew up with. Give me, give me that damn weed, bro. Come on, it's just a gram. You understand? You understand how sick that is, bro? His mind is fully set. <laughs> when I wait, I, I'm determined. You got to think, right? We've been on press 400 years. We at the bottom. We ain't got our own schools, hospitals, businesses, nothing. Our mind should be fully set. When I wake up, man, I'm finna wake up my people. I'm finna, I'm finna start a business. I'm finna take over the world. I'm finna get an education, right? Your mind should be fully set to take over the world because they owe you the world. But instead, we wake up looking for ways to destroy ourselves, bro. To destroy ourselves. To kill ourselves. That don't make no damn sense. Why? Because it's no fear of God, bro. We don't fear God. Read them. Verse 12. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God. Oh, God said, yeah, you're going to have people that commit wickedness all their life, catch a hundred bodies, sell a thousand pounds, all of that, and they might live a long life. But at the end of the day, guess what's going to happen to them? God going to destroy their soul in hell. They're going to burn forever. For all the wicked, give me that in uh, Sirach 16. Ain't nobody getting away with nothing. But we don't understand that. We don't look at the Lord like that because we don't get spanked immediately. And that's the problem. That's why we need each other. That's why we got to be able to correct each other. In the black community, that's the one thing we got an issue with. Can't no nigga tell me nothing. 
But when you're going to stand before the judge, the white man dropped the gavel, what you going to do? You're going to get your ass on the bus and you see what I'm saying? But we can't take correction from each other. If we're able to correct each other, we're able to prevent all this nonsense that happened in our community, bro. Yeah. That's why I'm talking to you the way that I am. Read it. Sirach chapter 16, verse 11. Uh -huh. And if there be one stiff neck among the people, it is marvel if he escape unpunished. Right, so God said if it be one person, one person rebellious, it is marvel, meaning it's a big surprise if he escape unpunished. Read on. For mercy and wrath are with him. Right, so we talking about the mercy, right? God is sparing us, but we forget about the wrath. The same guy that said, you know what? I'm going to just hit the refresh, but Noah, build a boat, you and your family, that's it. Everybody else got to die. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.